be happy. We can't be much happier with this weather. I know. I'm sorry I can't do better for the weather for you today. We've got a lovely day here today. It's bright, it's beautiful, and I'm asking you, what's on your mind today? I wonder what you are thinking about today. What's in your mind today? What are you thinking about? In a moment's time, I'm going to talk to you about these. If you want to stick around, but I'm just saying, out here today, we're Christians and we're out here with good news. I wonder what's the best news in the world you could tell me. I wonder what you could tell me which would be the best news. What would be some good news for you guys? England will win the match today. My friend here says England, that would be oh, good no, news. Dutchman, You're a Dutchman, sorry. What did you say? I was on the Dutch. Having a champion. Having the championship, so yeah, we're talking about football. I'm asking you today, what would be the best news in the world? What would be the best news you could hear in the world today? So, for those of you going by, I've got on this board, I've got five, five prisons here, okay? Five prisons on here, and I'm asking you now, do you recognise any of these famous prisons, okay? Alcatraz, yeah, this lady's right. We've got Alcatraz here, okay? Uh, now, here we've got... Okay, Prison B. So those going by, I'm saying, do you recognise? Do you recognise Prison B for me, my friend? You don't know it? Do you recognise Prison B? In Manchester, okay, for those going by, I'm saying, do you recognise these prisons? Do you know Prison B? Manchester, where all the prisoners, they climbed onto the roofs. Does anyone know which prison I'm talking about? Yeah, I was there, mate. It was me, it's nice. You were there, were you? <laughs> okay, good day. Well, what's the prison called? Strange ways, right? Stick around. Well, you, I need to talk to you. No, you won't. No, you won't. I'll make sure. I'll make sure. Okay. So my friend said he, he was on Strange Ways. He was on that roof that day. Okay. What about this one here? We've got Prison uh, C here. So just going by, I'm asking you. Do you recognise these ones? A bit harder. Does anyone know that one? The H blocks in Northern Ireland. This lady's got it right. Well done. H blocks. Now I don't think there's anyone in Lancaster today who can name to me Prison D. This is the one that catches everyone out. For those you going by, I'm saying, do you recognize any of these famous prisons? Does anybody know Prison D? I'll give you a clue, it's in South Africa. Nelson Mandela went there. Do you know which one it is? I'll give you another clue. It's a Christmas bird with a red breast. Robin Island, that's right, Robin Island, okay. And last but not least, Prison E, does anybody know my final prison? Does not anyone recognise Prison E? Do you know that one? It's in London. It's in the name. Tower of London. You're right. Tower of London. Yeah, stick around, my friend. So I'm asking you now. I'm saying, do you recognise any of these famous prisons? So we've got some lads here. Maybe they'll help me out. Do you recognise any of these? Do you know any of these? Prison A. Alcatraz. Yeah. No, that one. Manchester. What about this one? Strange ways. You're right. And this one? So, to my friends here, I'm asking you, do you recognise any of these famous prisons? But here's what I really want to ask you. Do you recognise that every single one of us has a prison themselves? It's true, isn't it? We've all got chains, haven't we? Some of us might have the chains of addiction, we can't pull the bottle down. Some of us might have the chains of bitterness. Perhaps there's someone who can hear my voice today and someone's hurt you. Maybe someone cheated on you, maybe someone lied to you. The chains of bitterness, the chains of fear. But you know there's one chain which every single one of us has in common. Where are you going, my friends? I've only just started. And there's one chain which we all have in common. Do you know what it is? Can anybody tell me the chain we all have in common? Right or wrong, 10 out of 10 people die. Is that right or wrong? It's right, isn't it? And we all have that similar chain in common that we're all going to die. And my question to you is, might seem a bit morbid, but I wonder if anyone can answer it. Suppose tonight, I hope it isn't, but suppose tonight is your last night on planet Earth and you step out into eternity and you face God and he says, why should I let you into my heaven? What would your answer be? Does anyone have an answer? What would you say to God if he says, why should I let you into my heaven? Perhaps you might say a good person. Perhaps you might say I've been a nice man. Perhaps you might say, God, you'll let everyone in. But let me tell you this, there's only two types of people that get to heaven. Perfect people and forgiven people. Now is there anyone here today in Lancaster who can raise their hand and say I'm perfect? Oh, I'm sure your mum thinks you're perfect, yeah. But we're not, are we? None of us are perfect. 
but every single one of us can be forgiven. And here's how it works. 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ, he, he had a crown of thorns into his skull. He had nails to his hands and his feet. He was stripped naked and there he hung on that cross for all the wrong things you've done, all the wrong things I've done. Looking at this man in front of you, everyone have a look at me now. I'm a married man. Do you think that this man in front of you has ever made his wife cry before? What do you think? Do you think I've ever made my wife cry? I have, I've got a, a, I have got a wife, yes. Yes, I have, you're right, I have. I have actually made my wife. But you see these eyes here, do you think that if everything I'd seen in my life was placed on this board, do you think I'd be embarrassed of anything I've seen in my life? What do you think? I, I would, wouldn't I? You see these fists, now I, I know I'm a dweeb, I know I look like a softie, but you see these fists? Do you think these fists have ever hit anyone before? What do you think? They have. So looking at me, I'm not a nice guy. I'm a bad lad, really. I've done bad things. But ask me this question. Am I going to heaven? I am. Yeah, I'm going to heaven, and I'll tell you why. Because Jesus died on a cross for my sins. He took the wrong you've done, all the lies, all the sex outside of marriage, all of the drunkenness, and he died there for you and me. Now, if there's any atheists, in Lancaster today, if there's any skeptics, if there's anyone who doesn't believe in God, I want to chat to you, Mr. Atheist. I want to chat to you, Mrs. Atheist. Here's one final question to the atheist. What would you think of me now, Mr. Atheist, if I said to you, Harry Potter is a terrible book? What if I said, Harry Potter's the worst book in the world? What would you think of me? What if I said, Harry Potter is a terrible book but I've never read it before. What would you oh, think yeah. of me then? We'd say read it first and then make a judgment. Please don't say the Bible's a load of rubbish without reading it first. And I'll give anyone who's not too ashamed, who's, who's a bit brave to come and take this from my hand, a portion of the Bible for free. If anyone's not too embarrassed, then do just take it from my hand. But I'll tell you, whoever comes out and takes this, they're the bravest person in Lancaster. Because no one wants to be Are seen dead with a street man? preacher. Would anyone like to take it from my hand? Yeah, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Would anyone else like to take a free portion of the Bible, John's Gospel, for free? God bless you. Thank you for taking that. Very brave, madam. Does anyone else want one? I know there's more of you who want one of these. I'm giving it, you can't go into JD Sports and get anything for free. I'm giving you a free portion of the best book in the world, which will tell you how to get eternal life and have your sins forgiven if you follow what it says. Anyone else want one? If you want to come up after a bit quietly, sometimes people come when there's not as many, then please do. God bless you all. Thank you for stopping. Oh, thank you, sir. God bless you.